I'm really excited today to uh, showcase our uh, electric propulsion kit. It's been almost uh, three and a half years now in the making and uh, finally happy to kind of, uh, if I can call it a launch or a reveal. So what you see is the electric propulsion kit and uh, probably I'll share more details with you guys as we go along. Okay, so this electric propulsion kit has been designed to convert gearless IC engine scooters into electric. Technically speaking, this design can convert almost any of the gearless IC engine scooters in the market into electric as long as it has a single suspension design. So yes, uh, on a technical front, most of the gearless IC engine scooters can be converted into electric using this electric propulsion kit. So now then comes a question of uh, why are you only advertising Activa, Suzuki Axis and Dio and probably Jupiter in the first phase. And the answer to that is more got to do with government regulations and ARA approval. So at this point of time, we are going phases based on the highest populated scooters that is on the road today. So in the first phase, we will be covering Honda Activa, Dio, Suzuki Axis. When we say first phase, hopefully up to March. And from the next financial year onwards, we will slowly start covering other models as well, starting from TBS Jupiter, and then maybe TVS Scooty Zest Plus, Mahindra and Hero, a couple of models of theirs. Yeah, so as I mentioned previously, uh, all the kits have to be approved by ARAI on a very specific standard AIS 123 part 3. And once ARAI has approved our kit as per those standards, based on those certifications, we go to the RTO with the converted scooter and they do a basic FC there. And if it passes the basic FC that is, to, that is usually conducted in RTO, then the vehicle is registered. So it's kind of an end-to-end -end solution where you get your old scooter to us, we convert it, we go to RTO, get it registered and then bring it back to you. The cost of conversion, let me put it this way. So as a consumer, uh, you get your old scooter to us, give us 35,000. 37,000 is the cost, but we would be giving 2,000 rupees discount because we'll be removing the engine. So you give us 35,000 and then we convert it into electric. We give you a battery pack and we give you a charger so that you can charge it home. But the battery pack would be on a subscription basis and not on an ownership basis. Yeah, so subscription basis is basically, uh, I would say the closest analogy is like Tata Sky, where uh, you recharge for a certain amount and you'll be allowed to travel a certain amount of kilometers. So in our specific case, uh, we're planning somewhere between 70 to 80 paisa per kilometer. Meaning if you recharge for 100 rupees, you will be able to travel up to 140 kilometers. Now, there are three main reasons uh, why we have chosen the subscription route and not the conventional ownership model. The first and of course the biggest reason is affordability because the battery pack itself costs around 35 to 37,000 before taxes. The second important reason is the shelf life of these lithium ion cells. So as we all know, the shelf life of lithium ion battery packs are limited and uh, the battery packs are bound to lose their life or uh, deteriorate, if I can put it that way, maybe three and a half to four years from today. And every time you have to replace the battery pack, you have to shell out 35, 37,000 again. And the third reason, which is quite specific to Staria Mobility is, maybe a year from today, we're going to come up with swapping stations all around Bangalore. We're already in talks with a few major corporations and all the other retail partners 
where they will double as both staria conversion centers as well as swapping stations. So when these swapping stations kind of crop up around the cities and towns, all you have to do is just upgrade the subscription from say 70, 80 paisa to around 1 rupee 5 paisa or 1 rupee 10 paisa per kilometer. So this is the reason that you know we're giving the battery pack on subscription. It's not just one, it's all these three reasons put together so that ultimately it is kind of in line with the vision of our company which is to make cutting edge EV technology affordable. Yeah, uh, now this uh, is a, a pretty great question personally because uh, when we talk about specs I get all excited uh, because that's what this product is all about. Uh, before I actually talk about the specs, I, I happen to mention this to a few people certain amount of times that there are four to five major criteria that needs to be fulfilled if one has to you know tap this huge six crore plus gearless IC engine scooter market and the first and foremost is performance the second one is the cost third one is of course the running cost the fourth one is uh, mileage or the range anxiety and the fifth is the resale cost so uh, I will only cover the first one today because it's about performance so somebody who's used to riding say Honda Activa or Dio Suzuki Access for a, a decade or so he's used to a certain type of performance so when he converts a scooter the minimum that he expects is at least the converted scooter has the same performance so whatever is built uh, today by us what you're seeing in front of me right now matches those specifications in other words the uh, getting very technical the motor is a five and a half kilowatt uh, PMSM motor the controller is a 250 amp FOC based controller and the drivetrain uh, is a single belt driven drivetrain ultimately you get almost 117 to 120 Newton meters of continuous torque throughout the speed at the wheel which is enough to accelerate the vehicle from say 0 to 40 in 3.7 seconds and uh, this uh, kit can enable your scooter to achieve a top speed of somewhere between 72 to 75 kilometers per hour and per charge of course there are always star marks whenever we talk about mileage so assuming it is driven in proper economical uh, modes or economical conditions it can give a mileage of somewhere between 69 to 71 kilometers so this is very important to us so we've ensured that the transition is smooth and we have ensured that you really get the best performing uh, characteristics that one can expect from an electric scooter with the electric propulsion kit that we've manufactured See, uh, the short answer is yes, uh, then it would be why don't you. See, mileage is very tricky. Uh, to put it very simply, to enhance mileage, there are two main options one has. The first is you reduce the performance of the scooter in terms of pickup, in terms of top speed and all of that. Then automatically your mileage increases. The second one is of course increase the battery pack size. So the uh, point is do we need to do both of them uh, you know just to achieve extra mileage. So we thought it's not wise to do it because it's more of a stopgap arrangement rather than a permanent solution. So what we are planning to do like I have previously mentioned is that we are going to have these swapping stations all around and when these swapping stations crop up you have amazing performance at affordable cost and there is no question of you know range anxiety at that point of time because you can just like you fill petrol you can go to any of these swapping stations swap it and you know sky is the limit drive 300 350 400 kilometers per day if of course it's not advisable but uh, if you can do so you definitely uh, will be given the opportunity to do it. So that is a long route that we're taking because like I again mentioned previously if I increase the battery size just to achieve mileage when the battery pack dies you will be again 
shelling out minimum 45 to 50,000 rupees just to replace that battery pack. And that truth is going to be revealed sooner or later. So we don't want to take that route. We are more happy with the, you know, taking the long route and creating the swapping ecosystem and trying to solve the range anxiety that way rather than the two methods that I have just, you know, informed you guys about. So yeah, uh, good news, uh, November 1st onwards, uh, starting November 1st, we have opened up the, uh, you know, converted scooters for trial rides for public. So any of you can log on to our website, staria.in, S-T-A-R-Y-A dot in, and you can book a test ride slot there at your convenient time, of course. And uh, once you come and ride the scooter and you're happy with its performance, you will be given an opportunity to pre-book it at 100 rupees. And uh, we are in the final phase of approval with ARAI, which should probably come through by December end. So whoever has you know, pre-booked it on a first come first serve basis, January onwards, we will be calling them and converting it and uh, yeah, giving it back to them. So, uh, I can't reveal names as yet, but we are definitely in talks with a couple of uh, big auto corporations where uh, they would want to leverage their 350 or 400 plus service centers span India uh, for Staria Mobility to be used as Staria conversion centers. So, if that deal goes through, uh, we would probably be looking at expanding from Karnataka to Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Rajasthan, uh, Delhi and hopefully Madhya Pradesh within the next one year or so. Apart from that, we are also in talks with independently interested business partners from all over India. So a combination of both will somehow ensure that within a year from today, at least our presence will be there in major cities and towns across India.